Good morning, guys. Well, afternoon. Good night. Baby. What are you <laughs> so scary <laughs> so today I have a dopamine detox video for you guys and it's literally I think I'm on day two now yeah I'm on day two I started on the 13th 14th actually it's not yesterday no actually on day one day two yes it's the 16th of today and it's literally in the middle of the night and one thing about me i know myself so well it's the middle of the night and i know fully well i'm not gonna go back to sleep um and because i'm on a dopamine detox i chose not to touch my phone well i chose not to scroll through like social media instead i had to get up i was like i have laundry to do which honestly it's not as bad as i thought it would be however like i'll, I'll literally be able to do this in literally a few minutes first of all let me just angles angles Number some some angles, but yeah, that's all the laundry that I need to do, and um, this literally not gonna take me too long. I'm done with all the lights, luckily, and yeah, it's around like two a.m. <laughs> it's around two a.m. I got woken up by um. But like, <laughs> I don't even want to say this. <laughs> but I got woken up by my neighbor's child falling off the bed and cry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but it was sad. But <laughs> but yeah. So because that happened, I know fully well I'm not gonna sleep. And the only thing that can get me to sleep is. Um, some white noise but because I've been scrolling through and doing all these other things that I don't right, didn't need to do all this time I have been um, I've been um, postponing doing my laundry but I'm finally doing it today and yeah, I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Not to say I don't have clothes. I have quite a lot of clothes I can wear still. But I generally don't like having laundry in my basket. So, yeah. Update. We are clean. We are so clean. I always love when my space is so clean. Love that. Appreciate that. First of all, I am here watching some Queen Charlotte's. I literally want to watch it again because it's intensely relatable for me. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Don't ask me why. But yeah, before this, um, around around like four, I think around four, I had my appointment with my mental health practitioner. I had to do it online. Um, I was telling her how, like, how, like, literally, now that I'm living by myself, I can, like, imagine myself. Like, now that I'm living by myself and I'm away from, like, all the busyness and people, like, asking me for things all the time and people delegating duties to me that I know fully well I don't want to be a part of, I started realizing that, yeah, everyone else's plans was just hindering with mine and, like, 
you know sometimes people are just in your ear they're just in your ear and you're like and they want to make you believe things that you know fully well are not what you want you know what i mean so anyway um i was telling her how i can like imagine myself past a certain age now and that's great like she was like so proud of me <laughs> sis was literally so proud of me and i was like i think i i was so happy to to like experience that and like share that with her and she also asked me like how do i feel like going out and whatnot and i told her like nah i went out not so long ago like i still am very social it's just like certain spaces that i don't appreciate and she was like no uh seems to like she says there's like a huge improvement and yeah i like literally love this for myself I love this for myself so much and i also told her like all the good things that are happening and i love that woman man like <laughs> i love that woman i don't think more than anything i'm like ready to share a lot of the things that i have been speaking to her about but like really i love her so much because she really really has been like my anchor ever since i moved here ever since like june when i literally just started to like say like cut people off and just start listening to myself again that conversation that like i always like am stuck in my room because i don't like the environment i'm in which is like definitely so true i don't like josie i get handy this place i get handy this place and i think it's simply because it has like so much trauma for me attached to it so i literally just like avoid certain spaces all the damn time and that is it's just not good for me so she she advised that if i can i should move to like a quieter place so yeah i think i'm definitely going to be doing that i think i'm going to be moving at the end of at the end of this month i think i'll be moving at the end of this month um and yeah i kind of feel bad because i'm leaving so many people that <laughs> that really wouldn't say like they rely on me or anything like everybody has like an adult and whatnot but like i feel bad more than anything because like i'm leaving people here i don't want i i don't want to be here anymore as much as like there's like a home for me so far i really just want to be out of this place like i don't want to lie like Mufiro Firoa, Josie is really not my style and where I'm moving to is going to be like so much better for me because it's closer to work. I can literally like walk to work. Not to say I, I'm not close to work and I already don't walk to work. I walk. <coughs> I walk is just like the environment, the smells and the noise and like the busyness. It's literally on some, like, I left a very busy, chaotic neighborhood. And I moved here. And it's it's better. Definitely better. However, it's not what I wanted. And because now what I wanted has availed itself, I literally might just be moving. End of this month. And... I literally can't wait for that. <laughs> I can't wait for that. I don't want to lie to you. I just want to leave this place. I want to leave this place. I want to leave this place because, like, Josie is busy. Like, hey, hey, this place. Like, like, hey, man. This place. <laughs> Like, 
eh, man, yo, 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 this place is, is chaotic. So, yeah. And honestly, there's like you can just never be sure in this place. <laughs> it's just always something in this place. Convenient as it is, like my place is literally so convenient. I feel bad leaving because it's convenient AF. Like it's convenient, everything is here. Things are done, this everything is where it needs to be. Everything is where it needs to be, but a part of me is just like tired and i just need a more quieter neighborhood that allows more convenience than what i have already like convenience in the pocket as well which is literally the most what i'm looking for at the moment so yeah sis sis said i should consider that um but she sees an improvement i told her that like i don't um i don't i don't drink my pills as much anymore and she literally said i should start like you know going cold turkey on the anxiety meds my antidepressants like sometime last year sometime last year around this month like around this time last year actually wow damn what <laughs> there's literally been such a huge improvement i don't even want to lie i'm literally only realizing that now like around this time last year sis told me to get off my antidepressants and said i should just leave therapy alone do therapy alone and then i got a job i moved out of home i had a breakup and she said okay no anxiety meds my therapist is a miracle worker <laughs> my therapist is a miracle worker my therapist is a miracle worker and i didn't even i didn't even realize I didn't even realize that until now. Bro, so sell a shout out to one year without depression meds. Shout out to one year without depression meds. What a great day. There's literally always something to celebrate. Ah, I love that for myself. Hi love plants. <laughs> Um, day three, four, three. Day three of the dopamine detox, and I'm pushing to do this until like the first of October. Like I'm pushing two weeks, because honestly, I really do need to do certain things. Oh yes, no, I did my laundry, so like all the things. Um, these two are not. Were dry. But yeah, I'm actually pushing to do this for the next two weeks. And yeah, more than anything, I'm literally, literally so. It's giving peace. It's giving. I'm listening to myself and I love it so much. Um, um, right now, I'm preparing to film a video. Um, those two videos that I mentioned in like the previous. In the previous slide or whatever, right now I'm just like moving my couch around to like, let me actually, yeah, to like show you that. I decided, ugh, one thing about me, I will do tasks half simply because I don't feel like it. So I literally decided that I'm going to do my thingy. I've decided that I'm going to finish off my laundry next week which is actually not a good idea because the laundry from this week is going to add up to that laundry and terrible poor decision making for the kid 
however you only live once and suffering is not the the life we want to live so yeah i'm literally gonna do that and then i'm gonna um, make a beef stew last night i made a tombola and i literally just had that with tea not so long ago how delicious Oof. It makes me miss home every time but yeah now i'm just gonna clean up i'm just gonna like set up so that i can actually do that video um so that i can actually do that video and once i'm done with it i'll let you guys yeah it's actually like so peaceful please hear all those birds You wouldn't say I live in Jersey. You literally wouldn't say I live in Jersey because damn. When the birds bird, baby, you will literally forget you live in Jersey. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can just watch me tidy up and, you know, get my space ready for filming. We are ready to film. I feel in a rush But can I just be honest? I don't feel like talking Unless it's about me A philosophy <laughs> Not my outfit looking like I look like a freaking hippie. All these colors. What do you mean? But <laughs> that's simply only because I'm suffering to get to wear black shoes. I'm suffering to wear black shoes. So, yeah. And these are literally more comfortable anyway. But, yeah. I need to walk. I'm just taking a walk. I'm just taking a cute little walk to work. Ugh, I'm always, I'm already thinking about work i'm already thinking about tomorrow but yeah i'm taking a cute little walk walking to bank city and yeah i can't find my crossbody bag like i need and i need that so much i really can't find my crossbody bag and that's literally the only bag that makes sense for me right now but i can't find it Excuse me, I can't find it and that is really pissing me off. I can't find it and that is really pissing me off, but I think I'll just walk. I'll just walk. Um, I'll just have another bag on me. I don't think that's necessary. I don't think, I don't think that's necessary though. But yeah. Let me look like I had a, I made a few bad decisions last night. I made a few bad decisions last night so that people don't come at me. Or like when people do come at me, they look so so you fun and I just like <laughs> he cheated on me. I look in 
into your eyes, I see it. You're all I need. Every time I get a bit inside, I feel it. What's filming? I literally had so much guys. I don't know why I enjoy chaos so much. Like I enjoy this. I didn't even do my bed. But granted I was tired. But please look at this. Because I was done filming, I th I I thought, okay, no. After my walk, I'm going to come back. And then I ended up like going to chat up a storm with my friend. Then I had beef left on the stove. And the beef bent because... Because, you know, my time's done. And then I came back and I was like, oh, let me actually fix this. And then I got... <sighs> I got a cut from the sofa because it has a nail not necessarily a nail but like um it had a um uh what do you call it a staple that was like misplaced at the back and then i got annoyed because there was so much blood i put on a plaster and then I went into my bed and I literally edited the video that I was <laughs> I was doing. And so basically now I have all this energy and um, what you hear now is the stove I'm making pancakes. So I'm literally out here making pancakes um, about to, so I'm literally going to eat and then fix this. I'm gonna fix this mess because I don't think I'll be okay tomorrow coming back to this mess. I expected to be so exhausted coming back here. Coming back home, I expected to be exhausted, but because literally I only had, I'm sure, like maximum three hours of sleep. Maximum three hours of sleep. So, yeah, simply because, yeah, as I said, pondering my future. <laughs> oh we got we we got big moves we're making so yeah at the end of the day this is what this is right now and i think you guys can literally watch me while i clean it up so let's do that and when we're making love Your cries that can be heard from far and wide It's only the two of us Everything I need between those lies Every time I look into your eyes I see it You're all I need I downright flanked my dopamine detox, but first of all, body yadi 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 baby. Just woke up from a nap and I said flanked. Flanked. I literally went up to a week. I went up to a week. Does that mean I'm weak? Ooh, baby. Making my poetry, baby. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm weak. It just really, really means that I live alone. And what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> but, yeah. Um, update, right? 
can't wait for this vlog to go up. I can't wait for this vlog to go up. I am absolutely so tired. I just got up from a nap. I just got up from a nap. I definitely need to do nothing. I'm gonna go visit Pearl and Naledi and just go have a job because those hands always make me laugh. <laughs> and I definitely, definitely need that right now. So I love you. Down and the memory.